My name is Sidney Altman. I'm an academic. My home base is Yale. A, few, a couple of years ago, uh, Mr. Herskovici called me and asked me if I wanted to be a consultant for Betalin. They're working on diabetes and I'm diabetic and I'm interested in anything that pushes applied research further on that particular topic. I was interested in the actual science of Betalin because from what I heard and then what I read subsequently, it sounded like a very clever way of getting around the problem of dealing with two injections every day of insulin. Some people are not quite that seriously affected, but I am. This past uh, last few months, I went on a trip to Moscow and Jerusalem, where I did some science in each places. Uh, in Jerusalem it was as a consultant for Bedlin and I met some of the senior scientists there and I felt that was a very satisfying meeting. You never know what you're dealing with until you meet the people at the company, which I did in Jerusalem. And then I was satisfied that this is a, le a legitimate scientific endeavor and the people there I thought were very good which is maybe not surprising for Israel. Sometimes if you are a consultant, you go to various places and the people you meet are not terribly interesting and you wonder why you're doing what you're doing. But this wasn't the case. I thought the science was excellent. Now, Bedlin is in an interesting position right now, or you can call it interesting if you want to. I think their science has moved forward sufficiently so that they're ready to engage in what are the th trials in patients for Im embedding this tiny little artificial pancreas, which is about that big. They've done it in mice and the mice respond beautifully for 90 days. So it's, they will respond to glucose in the blood and will start making insulin. That's as a consequence of what's in that little artificial pancreas. The first thing, of course, is making the injections uh, obsolete, which I can tell you would be, in my case, a big favor. Then the artificial pancreas, or the little platform they have with the artificial pancreas, can be used actually for various other things in terms of testing drugs of various kinds, not just, uh, not just anti-diabetic drugs, but it's a very convenient way of putting something in the body and measuring over a period of time what happens uh, as a consequence of it being there. There are three phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one concerns the toxicity of the new drug, whatever it is, in this case it would be the artificial pancreas. It would be in a smaller number of patients and one would look for effects on the patient with respect to some toxic effect of artificial pancreas inside the patient. Uh, there are other problems involved there, for example, the immune response of the patient to the artificial pancreas. And I am told that there is a local immune response in the mice, but they can easily take care of it. The question is, you get a, uh, a general immune response of the whole body to the presence of the artificial pancreas. I think Bedlin needs money to do the phase one trials and I would encourage its supporters to lend as much help as possible to Bedlin in order to raise the funds necessary for this particular phase one trial. All I can say about Bedlin is that the scientists look good at the moment 
from what I can say, the company absolutely needs new funds. I think that's the important thing to follow right now. And I wish everybody good luck in this particular venture.